Welcome back to the channel. So guys, please do not mind how I look right now. I literally just woke up and grabbed the camera and we're about to start today's video. Today is going to be my pregnant morning routine. As you guys can see, Quan is still asleep right now. I'm gonna wake him up in a minute, but this is super realistic because pretty much every morning I'm awake before Quan. Honestly, baby boy wakes me up in the morning like he starts kicking and like poking me. You know, his elbows are all up in my ribs and stuff and he basically tells me like, mom, it is time to get up and start your day I am hungry so I'm about to wake Quan up right now and we're basically just gonna bring you guys along our day and I'm gonna show you guys my pregnant morning routine wakey, wakey, wakey. I'm gonna do my pregnant morning routine today huh? I'm gonna do my pregnant morning routine Dude, what are you talking about? oh no 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 babe. <laughs> you got the camera on babe come on I look crazy right now we both look crazy right now I just woke up too Ooh, that morning, but not when I stop. Oh my god, I was in deep sleep too. Oh, well, it's time to get up because your son's over here kicking me. He's like, Mom, I am hungry. What time is it? 9 a.m. Oh my god, it's early. Okay. All right, so we're about to get up, and the first thing that Kwan and I have to do every morning is make the bed because I just cannot start my day without making the bed. That hasn't changed too much, but the only thing that did change is that I have this huge pregnancy pillow on the bed now. <laughs> the pregnancy pillow that Kwan can't stand. So, about to get up and start our day. You give me like 15 more minutes. <laughs> you want 15 more minutes? Yes, please. I'm so tired. Okay. <laughs> Alright y'all, your boy is finally up, ready to get his day started. As y'all can see, Rissa and I are positioned different now. So now when we stand at the sink, I have to stand behind Rissa because there's not enough space for us to stand side by side. This is my baby boy's head now, so. And also, do not make fun of my little nighttime outfit, okay? Only thing I wear while pregnant now is like comfortable nightgowns like this or big t-shirts because they're just so comfy and breathable. I think you look cute with them. I know, they're cute, but like we kind of look grannyish a little bit. That's cute to me. I don't care, they're comfortable, okay? Well, we want to get our <laughs> teeth brushed, our face washed, and then we're going to get dressed, so. Yeah. Let's brush these teeth. But you guys see the struggle that I go through every day, right? You see my belly with the sink? Sometimes I have to like stand like this yeah, and no, brush I'm my teeth. Yeah, I'm that. <laughs> get out of here. All right. All right, let me get some toothpaste. Let's get it. tongue scraper and I swear it works like magic so basically you just place it on your tongue and then it takes all the plaque off your tongue I ain't really just doing this now but it takes all the plaque off your tongue y'all should cop this it's on Amazon get it you been swearing about that thing yup no more bad breath y'all look how clean my tongue is now nice pink tongue get the tongue scraper y'all no more bad breath all right, you guys, so Quan and I kind of just got dressed. I just like slipped my hair back today and I threw on something really comfortable. I'm wearing like these maternity leggings and just a plain t-shirt. Can I just throw on a crew neck and some shorts? Yeah, we just be on chill vibes. vibes every day. <laughs> so before I like continue on with my day, I do this step every single morning. I actually do this every morning and night, but I always apply my body butters and also my oils to my belly. So a lot of you guys have been asking me what I've been using throughout my pregnancy. So I've been using the Rock the Bump Butter. I apply this first and then I go in with the Glow On Body Oil. Well, actually, Quan usually does this because- Yeah, I do not. It's yeah, he loves putting it on. It's kind of like bonding time for him and his son. So he'll sit here and like rub my belly every morning. So I start with the Rock the Bump Body Butter <laughs> and I just use a nice amount. It spreads nicely, so you don't need too yeah, much. Rub it in. So this is definitely a part of my- I Just rub it on my baby boy. Pregnancy morning routine. I just love how it makes your stomach look. <laughs> it gives it a nice little glow. It looks nice and moisturized after, right? Yeah. Why you got all those lines on your stomach? From my leggings. <laughs> it feels so good. I love when you do this. And then oil. Oh, 
many pumps do you usually do? Like? I'll probably do like two or three pumps. You don't gotta do much pumps with the oil. It spreads good. I love the oil. This That's what makes her stomach glow. Look at this. <laughs> How does it feel? It feels so good. I love this. Mm -hmm. So I do this twice a day, like I said, every single morning and night. Juan always talks to him every morning. And he does my heart right there. <laughs> love my baby. That's gonna be my twin. I already know it. Okay, here we go. Thank you, baby. Look at the baby bump now. Nice and, nice and glowy. glowy. I love it. It feels so good. Okay, so I'm about to go to my vanity and just do a little makeup right now and then we'll continue on with our morning. So I'm just about to do a little bit of makeup, nothing crazy, just, you know, to get myself together for the day and whatnot. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. So I just applied a little bit of makeup, nothing too crazy, but I cannot continue my day without applying perfume. You guys know I love my fragrances and all that. So today's perfume I'm going to be applying is actually from Scentbird New York and I have been loving Scentbird so much much this is one of my favorites that i got from this month and it's actually the rebecca minkoff blush and this scent is just so amazing i love how it smells it's nice and fresh it's just so me and girly <laughs> so i do want to give a huge shout out to scentbird for sponsoring today's video if you're unaware what scentbird is it is a fragrance subscription service and you have access to shop over 600 brands they have perfume cologne and they also have many unisex options while using scentbird you have the option to try out new designs designer fragrances for just $16. So every single month you have the option to choose whichever fragrance you like so there are no surprises and you can also pause your subscription at any time. So like I said they have tons of perfume options, colognes, and also unisex options and they give you an entire 30 day supply for you to try out before you commit to an entire bottle of perfume or cologne which I just love the idea of that because you guys know cologne and perfume is so expensive. I'm pretty sure we've all been there before where you go and purchase an entire entire bottle of perfume and you just end up not really loving it but with Scentbird you get to try out an entire 30-day supply and you can see which fragrance you really love and what you fall in love with and it just allows you to save so much money. I also just love the idea of getting to try different fragrances every month because you get to kind of just switch it up and try something new and just spice some things up a little bit you know. So with Scentbird you could get a new fragrance every single month but you can also upgrade your plan so that you're able to get two or three fragrances every single month. So if you're not sure what fragrances to choose for the month they do have the option to take a quiz online and with that it'll basically help you like narrow down what fragrances are for you i took the quiz and it was so helpful so let's get into the packaging because i am just in love the fragrances come in these really cute little pouches that say scentbird on them and this is what the packaging looks like it's actually really cool all you have to do is twist the top and the sprayer is exposed and then you just twist it back down to close it so i just want to show you guys how generous the amount of fragrance in these vials actually is compared to your typical small vial that you would get in the store like it just doesn't even compare so you just twist and then you spritz and like i said i'm obsessed with this one this is actually one that i'm wearing today but i am obsessed with all the ones that i'm trying for this month and i also love that they send these like little cards of all the fragrances that you're trying for the month and basically on the back of it it has like a little description of the fragrance and also like the ingredients so i love that little touch that they add so now that fall is here it is the perfect time for your fragrances to follow suit i have been loving this one in particular for fall because it has such beautiful scents of lavender sage cedar but it also still has a very delicate smell i've also really been loving the harmonious velvet fire it's made up of lavender coriander white musk and tonka bean and it has a really intense smell but it's also not overwhelming at the same time the scent is just absolutely beautiful scentbird carries tons of your top designer brands such as versace gucci prada cartier confessions of a rebel but they also carry many indie labels their products are also 100 authentic because they work directly with the brands you guys need to try out Scentbird and also use our code RISQUAN and with that you will save 30% off your first month which will make it only $11 which is just a crazy amazing deal. Scentbird also now ships to Canada so all my Canadians out there you guys can try out Scentbird also. Thank you so much to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video now let's continue on with my pregnant morning routine. Okay so typically after Quan and I are done getting ourselves ready in the morning we like to eat breakfast so babe are you? Are you hungry? Are you ready to eat? I'm ready to eat. What you want to move for? 
Okay, so the funny thing about pregnancy, like I can wake up wanting something different every single morning or I could wake up wanting the same exact thing every morning. Tell me about it. <laughs> I swear every single morning is something different with Rissa. Like one day she wants a bagel and the next day she wants me to cook breakfast and the next day she wants to eat cereal, like five bowls of cereal. So it's like, <laughs> I don't know, it's at random with you. So it all depends on what you want today. Exactly. So this morning I kind of woke up in the mood to have like a fresh smoothie or something, like a tropical smoothie. Yeah, but you need food. I do. Hmm. You gotta eat. You're my baby. Come on. <laughs> what else you want? So either I'll have Quan make breakfast or I'll send him out to get something. But I'm kind of feeling like I want us to like make breakfast together. So probably make some pancakes, egg and cheese, and turkey sausage. You guys know we love making that in the morning. And then on the side, a smoothie. That sounds like a really good breakfast this morning. Okay, we can do that. Sounds, sounds good? Sounds good, yeah. All right, so let's go make some breakfast. All right, let's go. Alright y'all, so I'm about to get into making my pancakes And I don't know about y'all, but I like to mix my pancake mix inside of a mug For some reason, I just feel like I could really get in there and mix it very good inside a mug So I think y'all should try it out You also gotta make sure that you put the right amount of water in it So that it mixes very well and that it's nice and thick And you get some nice pancakes Teach me because I suck at making pancakes, babe You guys know I call Kwan the pancake master I don't know how, but he just makes like the perfect pancakes It's all about how you mix the mix up. Oh, it's about the flick of the wrist? Yeah, so you just gotta make sure that the mix and the batter is nice and smooth, you know? And thick, you said, right? And thick. You don't want it too thin, but then again, you don't want it too thick. Okay. So you gotta make sure you apply the right amount of water. It has to be like 50-50 with the mix and the water. Oh, and I don't even think I showed you guys, but I started working on our pantry. I still have a lot of work to do. I gotta add labels and all that stuff, but it's coming together nicely. and Quan already washed all the dishes like the good husband that he is. Always. As always, he always washes all the dishes. <laughs> so we're about to make our smoothies now. So I'm about to have Quan help me make my smoothie today because last week I made a smoothie and he was yeah, like was going like in on my disaster. smoothie. You did a bad job, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how. It tastes like straight apple juice. I think you used too much juice. No fruit, just, just juice? No fruit, just apple juice. And it was mad watery. Like, you didn't do it correctly, babe. So okay, I got you so he's gonna help me because yeah. he actually makes really good smoothies. So Quan and I like to use like juices in our smoothies rather than yogurt or milk. Mm -hmm. So I'll use like apple juice, pineapple juice, and then sometimes he'll use like lemonade. So today I'm gonna make mine with organic apple juice. He's gonna make his with some pink lemonade, which I never tried that before. You tried that? I'm gonna wanna try yours. Of course you are. <laughs> okay, but I'm gonna use apple juice. Okay, so how much apple juice should I use? Go ahead, pour it, and I'll tell you. Because apparently stop. my smoothie tasted nothing like fruit. It was just apple juice. Yeah. Okay, how much? Pour, pour, pour. All right, there you go. Okay. Now, put a bunch of fruit. And ice. And ice. Okay, I'll get so, the ice. Thank you. I'm doing like a tropical blend. So I'm gonna be using some strawberries, frozen strawberries, some pineapple, and kiwi. The blender is so small. Oh, good. And also some raspberries. Hey. Okay, let's see how this comes out. <laughs> Okay, so Rissa's done making her smoothie, and thanks to me, look how good the smoothie looks. Now this is what you call a smoothie. Now try it. I'm not gonna think. lie, it looks really good right now. Mm -hmm. Let me grab my straw. <laughs> Bella? Mm. Mm-hmm. Say thank you, Daddy. <laughs> yeah. No, no thank, thank you. you. Daddy. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, it's really good. Mm. Alright, let's go eat now. My smoothie and our breakfast. Do not mind our paper plates, okay? Quan washed all the other dishes, but Quan's already grubbing. How is it? It's good. Really good? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I'm about to eat my breakfast too. So we'll see y'all in a minute. Okay, you guys. So Rissa and I just got done eating not too long ago. And right now we're going for our daily morning walk. Rissa likes to walk in the morning. Yeah, so every morning after breakfast, I like to go for a little walk. Apparently, it's really good for pregnant women to keep walking like throughout their pregnancy. I guess it helps like with labor and delivery. Like they say you're more able to push. It's yeah. just good to, you know, walk and stay active. So you gotta keep them legs strong. You gotta keep the legs know? strong. <laughs> yeah, and also, yeah, it is an exercise. So we walk about a mile each day. And it's always healthy to walk and work your heart rate and stuff like that. So just like to walk every single morning. And also just enjoy nature, you know? It's so it's good beautiful. bonding time. Especially now during the fall. I love coming out here every morning. The weather is just so nice. Yeah, it feels great out here. <laughs> it's not too hot, not too cold. It's just like right in between. So we just like to walk the trails in the back of our apartment and just take in that fresh air, you know? And now that I'm more pregnant, it's like so much more difficult walking a mile. I'm starting to realize I feel like we take longer to finish the mile now, don't you? Yeah, <laughs> but I know like, I mean, you got that weight on you now, so I know. it's harder for you to walk faster, but. I'm Waddling. It's no rush. As long as we get the mouths in, we good, you know? Yeah. Rissa and I just going for our daily walk and we'll see you guys when we get back home. Whew. All right, you guys. So we are back inside now and I just love my morning walks because I just feel like it's like the perfect start to my day. So after our walks, this is typically what goes down. <laughs> yeah, so this is part of our daily morning routine. So after we walk, I have to rub Rissa's feet because her ankles get really swollen and her feet gets very swollen. So I just elevate them for her and I just rub each foot. How does it feel? Amazing. It feels so good. I don't know. My ankles have just been getting yeah, so really big. Swollen. Look how swollen they are now. You gotta elevate your feet, babe. I know. I can't rub them so much because it's dangerous. Yeah, so he tries not to rub my ankles so much more just like my feet and stuff, but it definitely helps a lot. I was trying to tell Quan that my feet were getting like more swollen and stuff now. I wasn't experiencing it for a very long time, but now like it's nah, starting to I see happen. It now. You see it? Yeah. yeah it's definitely good. He couldn't tell before, but it's more like my ankles, not so much my feet. It's just my feet start to hurt when I walk for too long, you know, or I stand for too long. Yeah, so. You guys, this completes our morning routine, well, our pregnant morning routine, mm -hmm. and our next morning routine will be with our newborn baby boy. Yeah. Which I cannot wait to oh my gosh. you guys stay tuned for that. That's gonna be very interesting, babe. <laughs> I, know, I really cannot wait to use hair. Our life is gonna be so different. Our mornings, evenings, nights I are know. gonna be so I'm different. I'm gonna love every moment of it. Me I too. We're so excited. So yes. yeah, our next morning routine will be with our newborn. So we hope Baby you guys boy. are excited. But this is my pregnant morning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Also, do not forget to check out the description box again and shop Scentbird and use our code RISQUAN for 30% off your first month, which is only $11. You guys do not want to miss out, but we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll see you guys in our next one. Love you guys. Love y'all. Peace.